What's going on everybody? This is a show, just a real quick video and once again, I know I do this all the time, but I apologize for the lack of videos. My sister left for the weekend. She left uh, last Thursday. So I pretty much Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today, I was stuck babysitting my nephew for the last five, four days, whatever. But my mom's finally home so I could catch a break, some relief. So I went out and did some things that I wasn't able to do when I had to sit here and babysit a six-year-old child. But I got Wonderful 101, which is a dope game, played the demo and everything. Can't wait to get into this and I will be live streaming this game right now. And Final Fantasy XIV on Realm Reborn. Now, <laughs> if you guys have been following me on Twitter, go follow me on Twitter by the way, link down below in the description. If you guys have been following me on Twitter or you have me on Facebook, you will know that I've been hunting this game down for weeks now, right? At first, I was trying to, you know, find some digital copies because, you know, I just like to do my PC games, you know, all digital things of that nature. I just like to just download them then and there. You see what I'm saying? But then, you know, there was that whole um, Square Enix actually stopped the digital sales because they had too many people on their servers. So then I started looking for physical copies. I couldn't even find any physical copies. I went to the two local game stops in my area. None of them had it. And I went to three different Walmarts in the area down here. Three different Walmarts, y'all. And one of them finally had it. And there was only two copies left, too. So right now at that Walmart, there's only one left. These, this game, um, I, I, didn't, I, I knew like digital, finding digital codes would be hard to do. But I didn't know for even finding physical copies of the PC version of this game was going to be so damn hard. So I'm happy. I am satisfied. I finally got this game. I'm going to be sinking some serious hours into it because I used to be a huge MMO player back into the day, but I kind of got off of it. But this seemed like the perfect game for me to get back into it. So, Steels, hit me up, man. Uh, if you guys, you know, have this game as well, you guys want to help a new bout, that is more than welcome. So, between these two games and GTA V, um, yeah, no social life, no friends, no family. Fuck all that. And speaking of GTA 5, I actually don't think I'm going to be buying that tomorrow. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, what? You're insane. I'm sorry. I'm not one of those people who is crazy hyped for GTA 5. Now, I still, I'm still going to buy it, of course. And I'm still very anxious to get it. Yes, the online looks amazing. But as far as the single player goes, I can't really say I'm hyped for the single player. Which is the reason why I'm thinking I, I could hold off on, on, on buying that tomorrow. You know, I might, I might get it on this Friday or this Saturday. Uh, depending if, if um, how much money you know I get this um this uh pay not paycheck but I'm supposed to be getting some money on Friday so it depends how much money I get on Friday so that's probably when I'm going to be actually picking up GTA 5 but yeah like I said it's mainly that online you know that I want and the fact that you know it has a whole crew system and you can play with your friends and things of that nature and I've said it on Twitter and Facebook but I don't think I've ever said it in a video but this is just the way I feel. I think GTA 5 is way too overhyped and I think it's going to disappoint a lot of people when it launches in a couple of hours, you know, 12 o'clock if you're picking it up at midnight. This game just has way too much hype, but all the sites are going to give it a 10 out of 10 solely because it has Grand Theft Auto in the title. You know, it's as simple as that. It could be the most balls game ever, 10 out of 10. I mean, GTA 4 has a 98 on Metacritic. That game is so, I mean, it's not a terrible game. Like, I, I beat it and enjoyed it. You know, it was fun, but it wasn't amazing by, by any means. Like, I just don't understand how people really, like, look at that game like, oh, that was amazing. I don't understand. But that's not to say GTA 5 does look great, because it does look great. It looks like an awesome game. You know, it looks really fun. I just think that all these people going around saying it's the second coming of Christ are a little too, you know, hyped up about it. But... I will be reviewing one on one on Game Room. Actually, I'll go ahead and be reviewing this too. And um, I don't know who has the official Game in Room review for uh, GTA 5, but I'll check in on that. And uh, if nobody is assigned to doing that, I will go ahead and um, do the GTA 5 review as well. So, GameRealm.com, and also don't forget to check out Pretendo.co for fake Nintendo fans. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you folks later. Peace.